Hi there. Now for this part of the question, we're told that a curve C has the parametric equations then x equals 2 sine t and y equals 1 minus cos 2t, t being greater than or equal to minus pi upon 2, but less than or equal to pi upon 2. And in part b, we have to find a Cartesian equation for C in the form y equals some function of x, where x is greater than or equal to minus k, but less than or equal to k, stating the value of the constant k for three marks. And then in part c, write down the range of f of x for two marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this, just give you a moment then, as usual, to pause the video. And when you come back, I'll take you slowly through the work solution. Or you might want to uh, fast forward. OK, welcome back then, if you had a go. Now, for part B then, if we're to find a Cartesian equation, we want to, in other words, try and eliminate this parameter t. And when you're dealing with trigonometric functions, we need to find a link between our trigonometric functions. So what kind of link exists between sine, and cos sine t, that is, and cosine 2t? Well, I'm going to use the double angle formula here. should be familiar with the fact that cosine 2t is the same as 1 minus 2 sine squared t. So I can get a link from that. So that's where I'm going with this. OK, so we start with x equals 2 sine t. And I'm going to make sine t the subject. So therefore, sine t will equal a half x, or we'll just write x over 2. And I'll call that equation 1. Now, when I look at what well, y equals, we'll just put that down, that y equals 1 minus cosine of 2t, then I'm going to expand this using the sine version for this. And we should be familiar with this. This is the same as 1 minus 2 sine squared t. OK, so when I expand this, 1 minus 1, that cancels, and you've got minus minus 2 sine squared t, so that's just going to be 2 sine squared t. And I'll call that equation 2. So it's just a question now of substituting then equation 1 into equation 2. So if we just say sub equation 1 into equation 2, then what we've got is therefore y, OK, equals 2 times sine squared t. Sine t then is x over 2, so that's going to be x squared over 4, if I square that. And this reduces down to y equaling a half x squared or x squared over 2, obviously it doesn't matter. So there's our Cartesian equation. Now, what would that look like if we were to sketch it? Let's just come down here. Well, if we were to put on our axes, OK, just something like that, x-axis, y-axis, then the curve y equals a half x squared is a parabola going through the origin, so it's going to be looking something like that. OK? Now, we know that this is defined, we're told, for values of t between minus pi upon 2 and pi upon 2. So when I look at x, taking the minimum value, minus pi upon 2, 2 sine of minus pi upon 2. Well, sine of minus pi upon 2 anyway is minus 1. So times it with 2, that's going to be minus 2. And then this is going to increase all the way up to when t is pi upon 2. So the sine of pi upon 2 is 1. 2 times 1 is 2. So I can see that this is going to go from minus 2 all the way up to 2. So what is our domain going to be, which is what we've got here? 
y equals fx with the domain x going from minus k to k inclusive. Well, it's clearly going to be going from minus 2 to 2. k would have to be 2. So therefore, k equals 2. Now for part c, we're asked to write down the range of f of x. So this is going to be from the origin here, 0, all the way up to whatever this point is here. So I just need to substitute, say, 2 in or minus 2. I know that it's symmetrical, so both this point and this point are going to be at this point on the y-axis. I'm going to take t equals pi upon 2. And if we work this out, substitute it into here, the cosine of 2 times pi upon 2, that results in the cosine of pi, which is negative 1. So you've got 1 minus, minus 1, so that's going to be 2. So the range then, okay, let's just put it in here, the range for f of x, or you could put y here, it doesn't really matter, is going to be greater than or equal to 0 from here, but less than or equal to 2 as it goes all the way up here. Okay?